Now, I want to talk about something today. Got, it's got me a little fired up. A little bit. A little annoyed. Got me feeling a little cross. A little perturbed. So as a seller on eBay, there's all these procedures and rules and regulations and deadlines and codes of conduct and all these things we must follow to make sure the customer has the best possible experience on the platform but the buyers on ebay who who watching out to them folks it's like the wild west on the buyer side Welcome to Mess Hall Digs. Uh, this is a YouTube channel about a part-time reseller. Pretty much what I do is I try to find items that are really cheap, low cost, and flip them and sell them for more than that online. That's the business that I'm in. Uh, I like to have a good time. We have a good time on this channel. We are a small community, but that means there's just so much room for growth. Now, if these are the kinds of things that you enjoy, want to have a good time, hang out with Mess Hall Nation, considering, 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 consider liking and subscribing to your boy. I'm also on Mess Hall Digs on Instagram. If you want to hang out there too. Now, what I want to talk about today, going to make it quick and easy. I want the chat to get involved with this one, help your boy out a little bit. Let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? Let's 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 get this conversation going. I don't want to bore you with all the details. Uh, you can Google eBay's return policy and go through and find all the little things I'm about to talk about. But let's go through a situation I'm dealing with right now and how ridiculous it is. So I had somebody, a buyer, purchase something from me, the seller. It was an expensive item, over $200. So my turnaround time when I sell something is one day. So immediately, buyer pays me for the item. eBay's on me quick. Hey, bruh, you got 24 hours. Let's get this thing shipped out. What are you doing? What are you waiting for? Get it shipped out. Oh, if you don't get it shipped out, that's going to be a ding on you. You better hurry up and get it out there tracking ebay calm down i got this i'm a professional so i got it shipped out i got it shipped out in nine hours purchase nine hours shipped and gone baby that's how i do i love my customers i take care of people now i offer 30 day free returns on my ebay store so i understand there are gonna be returns and I want to let you guys know at home, you're going to get returns. It's going to happen. Nothing you can really do about it. Customer had said item for about 12 days and decided, eh, nah, don't want it no more. So he opened up a return request. Now, that's fine with me if it doesn't fit or whatever you want to send it back fine and dandy that's why i offer the free return policy 30 days you don't want it send it back i'm good with that all good now ebay's policy does state that if a customer changes their mind it's called the remorse policy buyer buys something they get it and they just regret buying it. They can return it under that policy, no questions asked. I, I feel bad for what I did, policy. Can't do nothing about it as a seller. Just gotta accept it and move on. But here's the thing. As soon as that buyer opens a return request on an item, that money's frozen in time. So for me, it was over $200, just got yet frozen. So that's why I always suggest to you guys, have some backup money available. Have between two, three, maybe up to $500 
of reserve money just hanging out in case things like this happen. Because if the funds aren't available in your eBay account, they're going to take it out of your bank account when the return is processed. So when you sell something for 200 some dollars and you get that payout and you go to you know, Brazilian Steakhouse with it and they decide they're going to return it, you better come up with that $200 because you're going to have to give that dude the money back. So keep that in mind. They're going to freeze that money. And all the money you earn, let's say you sell a couple more things, it adds up to $200, they're going to keep that money. eBay's going to keep it frozen in time until its return request is resolved. So here's where things get kind of ridiculous to me. When that buyer opens up a return request, immediately eBay's like, all right, dude, all right, mess hall, you better respond within two days. You better get going. You better figure this thing out. You got two days. And if I don't respond within two days, the buyer can ask eBay to get involved and eBay starts dropping a hammer on me. Like, what are you doing? You better deal with this right now. And of course, I'm a, I'm a good seller. As soon as there's a return request, I respond immediately. I take care of it. Good to go. Okay, you don't want it. Send it back. Now, I offer free returns. So, I'm sending you the prepaid label in your email to send the item back to me. Now, once the item gets back to me, eBay's on it again. All right, mess all. What are you doing? You got three days. Get this guy his money back. You got three days. You better hurry up. Get his money back. But what's crazy is, in eBay's policy, it says, we will give the buyer a specified time to get it mailed back to you. Those are breaks. What does specified time mean? Who... Who's deciding what time frame that is? In this particular case, they gave my buyer 14 days to get it mailed back to me. Now, that doesn't mean he mails it and 14 days later I get it. No. He just has to mail it within 14 days. So let's say he waits the entire 14 days and mails it back to me, right? And the post office is so awesome nowadays. They're so fast and quick. It's going to take five, six days to get it back from that point. So we're talking about 21, 25 days later, I'm finally getting my goods back refund the buyer so I can get this thing relisted and recoup my money that I just lost. So my issue is why does the buyer get 14 days to mail it back? I get two days to respond to the return. I get three days to get him his money back. Where's this 14 days come from? I mean, I'm sending the buyer the return label. I mean, all he really has to do is print that sheet of paper off with the item, stroll into the nearest post office and be like, oh, I don't know. I this and I got this. I don't know. And most of the time, them dudes wearing them USPS or ladies, ladies wearing the USPS polo shirts are like, hey, how can I help you? I got this and I got this. Don't know what to do now. And they're going to be like, oh, no problem. We have boxes and tape right here just put that in a box tape it up tape the label to the box and hand it to me and we'll get it on get it on the road off back to mess hall 
It's it's that's all you have to do. Fourteen days they get. Right now is day 10 since that return request opened. Now, I could email the dude, say, hey, man, uh, planning on stopping by a post office anytime soon? Get me my goods back? But they don't have to answer it. They could ignore me. So this is what I'm upset about. Only thing I want to see changed the only thing I want to see eBay make happen if the buyer opens a return request let, let's give them five days to get it mailed back how about that five days is fair you want to return the item you got five days to drop it in a mailbox and I'm happy no more ranting and raving let me know what you think in the chat. Let me know. Am, am I taking this too far? Is this thing okay? eBay have it right? Am I just mad for no reason? The good thing is these returns don't happen that often, but they are going to happen. You do this long enough, and when your sales start increasing, going to happen. All right. That's all I have. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. That's it for this video. I'm out. Mess all days. Like and subscribe. It's your boy. Woo!